So when you get pregnant, do not take these two supplements anymore. Again, these are for egg quality and you would have already gone through the egg quality stage because you're pregnant. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dee Dee. If this is your first time tuning in, go ahead and click the subscribe button for all my return subscribers. Thank you guys so much okay so today's video is going to be about the supplements that i took in order to get pregnant highly requested video so for those of you that don't know i was um i had been trying to get pregnant for a couple of years and then once i finally went to a fertility specialist i was diagnosed with diminished ovarian reserve which means pretty much that almost all your eggs are gone so most people produce anywhere from 20 30 sometimes even 40 eggs per cycle and I was only producing between one and three eggs per cycle and the quality of my eggs since I am older was not as good as maybe like a person in their 20s or early uh, to mid 30s. A woman is born with all the eggs she's gonna have so there's, there's nothing out there that can make you produce more eggs, let me say that. Even, you know, IVF, you may produce a few more eggs than you did before, but that doesn't mean that the quality is going to be there. So the key is to try to increase your egg quality with what you have and get your body, your body the healthiest that it can be. So I have all of my supplements. So let's just go ahead and get right into them. So the first supplement, which I'm pretty sure y'all already know, is a prenatal. You can get any type of prenatal you want. This is the prenatal that I am currently taking. And that I started taking before I got pregnant. I got this from Target. I was taking a different type of uh, prenatal by Nature Made. The tablet was about this big, but for some reason it didn't agree with my body. So that's the thing. Anytime you're taking vitamins, everything is trial and error. Make sure you read the label. I did read the label. I was supposed to take it with food, but it just always left like a bad taste in my mouth and it seemed like it made my stomach hurt. So a friend recommended this one and this one is the, um, the Ollie with folic acid and DHA. Make sure you get one that has DHA in it. DHA is very important um, for your reproductive system. So make sure you get a prenatal vitamin with DHA and start taking it as soon as possible. Now, the second thing that I took was recommended by a fertility specialist. So disclaimer, do not take this pill unless you've spoken to a doctor about it because I didn't even know that it, that it existed. And my fertility specialist did not recommend it to, did not recommend this particular product. She just told me what I needed. So, excuse me. I was told that I needed to get a DHEA supplement. So I thought that they were saying DHA, which is what you can find in your prenatal, but no, DHA and DHEA are totally separate things. DHEA is a is a hormone that stim that stimulates your um it stimulates your follicles. I believe that's what it does. Yes. So I just started googling DHEA. The first one that popped up for me was Ovaterra. Now these were a little pricey, and each capsule. Can you see that? Okay, so each capsule was twenty five uh, milligrams. And I was told that I needed to take um, 25. <laughs> and, and the reason why I'm laughing is because I had joined a lot of different Facebook groups and there were some people that, that were saying that their fertility specialist recommended DHEA for them as well. And they were taking the max, which is 75 milligrams per day because I had um, low ovarian reserve. My doctor didn't want it to overstimulate since I wasn't producing a lot of eggs anyway. So they thought that it would be safe for each if I just took one pill per day. So again, do not take this pill unless you speak to a doctor about it first. This pill is supposed to help with your egg quality. So this is an egg quality pill, which of course is very, very important. Now, I do know that if you're experiencing PCOS, you won't take this pill at all. So if you have PCOS, don't even go online and look for it and buy it, don't do that. So there, you can get any kind you want, just make sure it has DHEA. Again, that is very, very important. Now, another pill for egg quality is going to be Ubiquinol or CoQ10. So 
you can find um let me see if y'all can see that okay so i have coq10 here i did have ubiquin all pills as well so first the easiest one for me to find was the coq10 all these vitamins that i have i purchased either from walmart target cvs or walgreens like you can pretty much get them anywhere the only one that i ordered online was the ovaterra now the coq10 and, and the ubiquin all and i'll write the, the word out on the screen they kind of go hand in hand but it is a supplement that's used for egg quality and these are 200 milligrams per capsule and i was taking one of these um per day so this is coq10 again you don't need to take coq10 and ubiquinol together that's not going to increase your chances you need to do either or and if you get pregnant then you stop taking this so you stop taking your coq10 and ubiquinol when you get pregnant you also stop taking the ovaterra so when you get pregnant do not take these two supplements anymore again these are for egg quality and you would have already gone through the egg quality stage because you're pregnant so the next vitamin that you need to start taking is vitamin D3. So I was vitamin D deficient. And so I purchased um, vitamin D in the first bottle that I ordered was 500. It was 500 IU, right? And so I think I was taking, I was just taking one a day. And when I spoke to my fertility specialist, they recommended that I take at least 2000 IUs per day. So these are the thousand um, IU capsules. So I take two of these per day. This is a pill that you that's very easy to find and you can start taking it as soon as possible. I know that if you are a woman of color, then more than likely you are vitamin D deficient. Vitamin D does have an effect on, um, on your reproductive system and your fertility. So again, vitamin D3, I would suggest you take at least 2,000 IUs. It's not, it's not gonna hurt you. All of the supplements that I'm talking about, again, you can talk to your um, OBGYN or your fertility specialist about it. Okay, the next supplement is iron. Again, I was iron deficient. So, and I've been iron deficient um, since I was in college. So, I mean, for at least 20 years, I've been iron deficient. But, um, so I just picked up, the, I think I got these from Target, but they were 45. Am I turning it right? Oh. These iron pills were 45 um, MGs, milligrams per pill. So, you know, I thought I was really doing something. I was like, you know, instead of just taking the one per day, I'm going to take two per day. Well, <laughs> when I got, so I had been taking two of these per day. When I got pregnant and they did the blood work, it showed that my iron level was normal for someone who was not pregnant, but because I was pregnant, I was needing more iron, let me say that. So the two pills that I was taking to, um, per day was fine, but I needed to up it. So then my doctor prescribed me a pill. So I take a prescribed iron pill from my doctor. And this one is, it's a lot more, it's um, 325 milligrams per day. So I was only taking 90 in the beginning while i was trying to conceive once i got pregnant my doctor upped it to 325 so i take a prescription iron pill but you can go ahead and start with the over-the-counter pill and if your doctor wants to adjust it then they can so the next one we have is fish oil and i think i was doing oh how much fish oil this one is 1200 uh, milligrams I think I was doing 720 so when I went looking for fish oil I didn't know how much to take you know or what the average was or anything like that and I think the bottle that I found was like maybe yeah about 720 milligrams per pill um but this one is 1200 so I do 1200 milligrams of fish oil now out of all the pills I will say that the fish oil is the largest pill that I take and I hate taking pills but it's the um the soft gel so it's not that bad so let me show oh lord i dropped it let me get another one so i'll show you how big it is and like i said it's soft gel so it's really not that bad so that's how big that one is we or every i feel like everybody's familiar with iron vitamin d fish oil these are natural supplements that we need to take anyways and especially if you're trying to conceive they're very important so don't forget your fish oil the next supplement is folic acid. So when I was um, pregnant with my first son, I didn't know that folic acid was important to like the 
for actually for me and also for the baby. I did like for the brain um, development and all that other stuff. I didn't know that. So I wasn't taking folic acid. I wasn't taking any additional folic acid than what was already in my prenatal vitamin. However, once you, you know, <laughs> get a little older, you start researching more. And also from speaking with my fertility specialist, folic acid is very, very important. So in the beginning, I was taking folic acid. Um, turn that around. I was taking folic acid and I believe it was 400 MCGs. And then I was told that I could increase the amount of folic acid I was taking. So I currently take 800 MCGs of folic acid. And I was taking 800 while I was trying to conceive. So I didn't just start taking it since I've been pregnant. The, the dosage was recommended, The yeah, the higher dosage was, was recommended while I was trying to conceive. So folic acid, this is Nature's Bounty. Again, any kind of brand, I'm not promoting, you know, any particular brand, just whatever you can find um, in the stores that I mentioned should be fine. Okay, next we have B12 and I take 1,000 MCGs of B12 and I mean BC, BCG, <laughs> B12 is like one of those vitamins um, that is good to take anyways. You don't have to take it. I'm not saying take exactly everything that I took in order to conceive. I'm just saying these are the vitamins that I was taking. Last but not least, now I will say this is the last supplement that I kind of incorporated towards the end of my fertility journey of trying to conceive and it's zinc. And I know a lot of people that already take zinc anyways and zinc is found in a lot of things that are good for us. I just really never paid attention. But this um, particular zinc, um, excuse me, <laughs> this particular bottle is 300 milligrams and I take one per day. So yes, I don't know how many that was, was that? So these are all the vitamins that I was taking in order um, when I was trying to conceive. Again, once you get pregnant, then you stop taking the um, the DHEA supplement and also the ubiquinol or CoQ10. I hope this video helps you guys. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me. I really appreciate it. Um, so until next time, talk to you guys later.